everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Peaks Pod System. This is a new product by Dopo. It is very, very weird looking, but then you open it up and it's just perfect. So yeah, so this is the newest um, pod system by Dopo. It does have like this, I guess you could say lighter feature, but to me it's more like a dust cover. Um, if you want to think of it that way because it doesn't do anything else it does have a viewing window it does come in two different designs i do have the one it comes with two coils so you can actually replace your coils you don't have to get a new pod you don't have to replace your pod you can actually just do your coils which i think is definitely key now it also does have different adjustments you've got your five clicks on and off you've got your three clicks for your mode button you've even got a preheat function in here so we're going to go down we're going to take a look at it closer then i'm going to bring it back up we'll have a vape we'll talk about it pros and cons so let's look at the peaks pod kit by dopo okay so here we are with the peaks pod kit this is by dopo this is the package that it comes in it's going to give you a little bit of information here it says peaks on the back it's going to tell you what's included in the kit and it also gives you scratch off authenticity inside the package you're going to get your peaks pod mod it does come in two styles which i'll show you later on inside the accessory box you are going to get an extra coil a lanyard which is one of those easy release lanyards a usb charging cable and you're going to get your qc quality pass card you're also going to get um, this information card it's got all the social media information for dovepo technology and there you go there and then you're also going to get this user manual now the user manual is very very simple it literally has pictures on this side and gives you a little bit of specifications if you want to go ahead and pause the video there they are and then on this side it gives you more of technical information and some of the um different protections that this pod has and then you've got the peaks pod again this does come in two variations you got this one and another one um i really like this one better to be honest with you but this is the one that i was sent got a little viewing window right here you've got a mode button or a power button right there you've got an led indicator light right here you've also got the usb port on the bottom and this is type c charging and the charger that it comes with it is also type c which is great then of course you've got some battery ventilation there this does hold a 650 milliamp hour battery and it does hold two mils of e-liquid inside the pod where's the pod you say it's right in here so yeah so this is the top of it flips open like i guess a lighter um to give you that feel but it is protected once you close it up it protects it from dust so you don't have to worry about that so getting schmutz and stuff like that in your drip tip and then to pull out the pot it's really easy it goes like this now down in the bottom here you're going to see your little connections right there. that's actually where the pod is going to connect to that of course this has got removable coils so the coil is actually your connector of the pod and this pod does hold two mils of e-liquid. One thing I will tell you is that I love the fact that you can see through it. That to me is definitely the first thing that I noticed about this. Now you do have a removable drip tip, except for it's more like a sleeve that you can't get off. Okay, it's got your mouthpiece right there. And then this right here is your top fill. So to fill this, all you need to do is just unscrew this piece right here. And then you fill from the top hole right there. Anytime that you fill this for the first time with a brand new coil, you do want to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, just to make sure it gets saturated. And that's what the top piece looks like. And then it just goes in really, really smooth. I like the threading on this. You don't even have to be very precise and it does go in really nice and it screws down. Now on the bottom, that's where you have your coil and it is this pop-out style coil. Your coil actually goes right into there. So that's what that looks like. Now it does come with two coils. It's got this one and the other one. Exactly installed is gonna be your 0.8 ohm coil. This 0.8 ohm coil is a mesh coil and that's what it looks like. You really can't see too good into there, but that is the mesh coil. And then here is your 1.4 ohm coil and that's where it says it right there and this is your mouth to lung coil so this is where you would actually see the coil on the inside so that's your mouth to lung coil personally i'm going to be using the 0.8 ohm coil it's more of a restrictive direct lung and that's the one that i like again all you have to do is just pop in these coils like this once you've dropped it in push it in and it's installed then to fill up the cartridge 
or the pod. You're just gonna unscrew it here. Again, only two mil capacity, but for a pod system, that's pretty good, especially being that they've got the higher resistive coils. So you take that off. Now be careful that you don't lose that because you only do get the one. And then it fits, of course, any size bottle because of the fact that it is top fill and two mils of e-liquid is sufficient. And then just go ahead and put this back on. Like I said, you don't even have to be precise with this thing. It literally screws on really, really easy. Now again, whenever you first use the very first coil, you do want to let this sit about five to 10 minutes to make sure that that coil gets nice and saturated. That's really, really important for this device. Now, a couple things on this device. Again, that is the inside. You've got your viewing windows right there. It is made of metal. And then of course, you've got your power button right here. One, two, three, four, five, we'll turn the device on. And now it's on. You're gonna have a mode button. I can't change the modes until the pod is in, but the mode button, you can actually change this for three clicks and it'll actually go into the mode selection. One, two, three. So the green will be flavor and then we'll do a max wattage of eight watts. And then the yellow, when it turns yellow, is gonna be for a cloud mode. And that, that would be actually um, at a 15 watt max. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh, by the way, listen to this. Boom. Boom. It's actually held together with magnets. I don't know exactly how they're doing it. I'm guessing that they have magnets right here, but it literally just, it falls right into place, um, which I really like. It's nice and secure. It's not going to fall out or anything like that. Now you do have airflow here and airflow here. So I do want to mention that as well, but look at that. Yep. Okay. And then you can close it or you can open it. Now, Currently, it's in green, which this is the flavor mode. And if you click it three times, it's now going to be in your um, cloud mode. And then change the modes. It's three quick clicks, one, two, three, and then you're gonna hold it. When you do that, it's gonna actually change it. See, yellow right there. And that's how you change it. Again, the green is for flavor. The yellow is going to be for clouds. I'm gonna leave it on the yellow. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now, if you do um, want, this also has a preheat. So for the preheat, the preheat will actually stay active for seven seconds after you set it. So say for instance, I wanna turn on the preheat, I'm gonna click this four times, one, two, three, four, and it's gonna show real quick yellow. Once that yellow is gone, that's when the preheat is over. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the Peaks Pod System by Dovepo. Really, really nice and very, it, it feels very substantial. The machining on this is absolutely perfect. Now, I know that some people are going to be talking about this piece here where the actual um, adjustment is or the actual um, connections are for the top. Yes, it is a little bit loose, but it has to be in order to fit on there. I mean, if it was stiff, it would not fit on there very well. Now, it's going to have a tiny bit of play. Of course, that's going to be true for anything that has that is on some type of a connector like this. So it does, it looks like it's going to be substantial. It looks like it's going to hold up. That's what the outside looks like. It's not made of plastic. It's actually made of metal. So I really like the feel of this. This is very, very substantial feeling. It does say Dovepo. And then of course it's got your warnings there. It's got nothing here, just peaks right there and peaks right there. So yeah. So let's go ahead and go on top. We'll take a look at this a little bit further. We're going to have a vape. We're going to talk about it and pros and cons. So let's go take a look at the Peaks Pod System by Dovepo. So here we are back on top with the Peaks Pod Kit by Dopo. So let's go ahead and have a vape. Gotta open it up, don't we? Okay, so I currently have the 1.4 ohm ceramic coil in here. The, the higher resistance is a ceramic. The other one is actually the loose direct or the restrictive direct lung mesh coil. So let's go ahead and do this. It is an auto draw device. So that's that. So you can do mouth to lung or direct lung on the direct lung. It's really, 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 really tight. On the 0.8 ohm coil, I do like it, but it's a little bit too loose for mouth to lung. And it's just, it's got really good flavor, but so does the ceramic one. So I did want to try both out. So I did try out the 0.8. 
I like it. It's a little bit too loose for me. In this actual pod device, I do like the higher resistance coil. I feel like it just gives a better overall vape in my opinion. Now, first thing I'm gonna talk about is flavor. No matter which coil, the ceramic coil or the mesh coil, you're getting really, really good flavor on this. I know exactly what this e-liquid tastes like. I've been on a PB&J freaking kick on it, but I know what it, it tastes like. Now, it does have that viewing window, which to me is definitely a plus. I love being able to see my e-liquid level, so that to me is a plus. Another plus is the fact that you can either top fill it with the, with the pod already in it, or you can just take it out really, really easy and fill it that way too. And it is top fill, so I absolutely love that. I like the fact that it's got a dust cover. Um, it does protect it. You can throw it in your pocket. You can throw it in your purse. It's not going to auto fire or anything like that since it is an auto draw type of device. So I do like that. It does come in two designs. I'm actually going to show you a picture of them right here. And I personally like this one better, but either or, they're ba basically the same thing. Zinc alloy and PCTG is what this device is made out of. The zinc alloy on the outside, the PCTG is the pod itself. Um, I do like the hinge on it. I think that it's it's really strong. Um, I, I do like that. I love the fact that it's easy to fill. I love the fact that it has the drop-in coils. That to me is definitely key, very key on something like this. I'm not really a fan of the little plugs. Those plugs drive me nuts, but I do like the threading on the top fill. The, it's really, really smooth. You don't even have to be precise. It comes off, it goes on, absolutely perfect. It does have a preheat setting, which does work. I actually use that with the 0.8 ohm coil. I don't really use it with the higher resistance coil because with the higher resistance coil, it's actually pushing out about eight watts, whereas with the mesh 0.8 ohm coil, it's gonna push out about 15, um, depending on which mode you have it on. If you have it on flavor, or you have it on clouds. Now, currently I do have it on flavor. Yeah, I've got it on flavor. and it gives really great flavor. The device has a preheat function. I've actually used the preheat function more with the lower resistance coil than the higher resistance. I just feel like it does give it that little bit of boost. It's not a hot vape, but it does make it sort of like a warm vape, so I like that. It's very easy to use. I love how you can put it all together, and I especially love the magnet, how it's magnetized. It literally just drops in it 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 holds on really really nice so that to me is definitely a pro it comes with two coils that to me is definitely a pro because a lot of these pod kits are either coming with one or sometimes none and you have to purchase them separately so i do like the fact that it has that the push-in coils is a definite plus i don't like plugging or screw-in coils because those to me sometimes can be a problem with just threading them just correctly so that they're not leaking I have not had any leaking with this. It is, again, an auto draw, so you do want to remember that. So you don't have to worry about pressing the button when you're using it. Close it up when you're not using it. It's absolutely fine. 650 milliamp hours for something like this is really good um, because it's going to last you pretty much all day, depending on your vaping style, honestly. Now, it does have a 2 mil capacity, which some people will think that it's a low capacity, but being that this is such the coils that are used are more of a high resistance coil or even the 0.8 is kind of a higher resistance than a lot of the 0.6s it does take a little while for the for you to lose the e-liquid so it's going to last you quite a while two mil capacity is not bad when you're doing mouth to lung it's when you're trying to do direct lung devices that it it takes a the juice does go a little bit faster so i do like that now there are a couple cons to this in my opinion First of all, it does have three lights, a green light, a yellow light, and a red light to tell you your battery level so you know if it's, char if it's charged or if it's not and when to charge it. But there are no battery percentages in the manual or online that I can find. Like green would be like 60 to 100% and yellow would be 30 to 60. No indication like that. It actually just takes it more into the voltage aspect, which for somebody who's wanting a mouth to lung device and not necessarily an avid vapor, that's going to be a little bit confusing whenever you're talking about voltage rather than percentages of battery. So that to me is a little bit of a con. Um, it does come with a lanyard, which I think is a pro, but the fact is, is that this I think is a little bit too heavy for a lanyard in my opinion. 
Um, it's very substantial. It does have weight to it being that it is made out of metal. So I feel like on a lanyard, it's going to be pulling too much because of the weight of it. So I, that to me is, it's not really a con, but I do want to mention it to you. Now, one of the things that I do have as a con is switching between modes is kind of hard. You can do the three clicks and hold it and it'll turn from green to yellow, but it's really kind of hard to get it because you do exactly what it says, the three clicks. Sometimes it'll go to yellow, sometimes it won't. So that to me is a con. Also the style. I'm not a fan of a lighter style in my my, my opinion. It's just not something that I would reach for, but I, do, I have been testing it out. And I do like that it is, you know, it's got like that dust cover type of feel to it. And it is very solid. If It's very well made. The construction is very, very nice on it. I absolutely love that. The hinge isn't a problem either. It's not way too loose or anything. Anything, anything that has any type of opening like this, you're going to have a little tiny bit of wiggle because the fact that it is on a hinge and it has to move freely. If not, you can break it. So that does not bother me at all. Now, I wish I had just like a bumper right here because I don't like the sound of that. When I go to open it up and having that metal, I just wish it just had like a little bumper right here so that you wouldn't you know, it wouldn't hit so hard. Not that it does because when you're vaping, you're usually holding it like this. So it's not too much of a big thing. Auto draw is a definitely a plus for me. I absolutely love it on this device. I think that it works really, really well. And if I haven't mentioned it, which I know I have, the flavor is really, really good on here. To be honest with you, I was very, very surprised at the flavor that I was giving on it. Um, I didn't expect too much out of it, just looking at it, but it actually vapes really well. And I mean, really well. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can find it on the Dopo website for about $39.95, about $40. You can actually pick something up like this. Um, it does have a 10 second cutoff. So if you are pulling it on for too long, it will actually go ahead and turn off and you'll have to turn it on. Five clicks on and off I think is great. So it's really, really easy to use. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and turn it off. It does go through the different colors. One, two, three, four, five. It will turn on and there you go. So really easy, there's no menu to be involved. To turn it on, turn it off, go ahead and cycle through the different modes if you want to. Um, the 0.8 ohm coil, 1.4 ohm coil, you've got ceramic versus mesh. To me, both of them are giving really, really good flavor. I don't have one over the other. Now, the one thing that I did want to mention, which I almost forgot and I couldn't remember what it was, you cannot change the coils if you have e-liquid in it, like you can, but you're going to lose some e-liquid because what will happen is when you take it off and you, you go ahead and you take out your coil and it's upside down like this, it actually leaks through the drip tip, the e-liquid, because there's no, nothing covering it. So I do want to warn you on that. Whenever you're changing out the coil, you definitely want to make sure that you have minimal amount of e-liquid and then you can turn it on the side like this, change out your coil and put it back in, but don't change it like this. If you do and you have e-liquid in, you will lose the e-liquid. So I do want to mention that. Other than that, I love this magnet. I've literally been sitting here like this for like the longest time. I love the magnet feel. It's very, very strong, very sturdy. It's not going to fall out or anything like that. It's held on really, really well. But yeah, so that's that's my review of the Dopo Peaks Pod Kit. Dopoesig.com is where you can find this and more information if you want it. The measurements on this are 89.8 from the top to the bottom. It is 39 millimeters across and 18.4 millimeters wide. So it's really, really small, really, really, I mean, in my hand, it's really hard to even see it. So I do like the size of it and I do like the feel of it. I'll be totally honest. The feel of it feels very, very substantial. And this flavor is really kick-ass. It really is. So yeah, so that's my, my review for the Peaks Pod Kit by Dopo. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on a device like this because I honestly did a device similar to the way that this one functions in the opening and closing. And it was a big hit. People actually did like it. So I would love to know, what are your thoughts on a device like this? I think it's very, very pretty. It's, it's absolutely stunning on the way that it looks. So, um, and the way that it feels. So that's it for my review and I will catch you on the next one.